Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Oh shoot, I just realized something. What? We missed out on a funny piece of dialogue we could have gotten in the investigation period last episode. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a safe state and go back. <laughs> Aren't my panties amazing? They were a big hit in court. They were the star player of the day, that's true. What should I show them in court tomorrow? If only I could count on panties to solve the day every day. Wait, what? Wait, did we already? Maybe oh, it's no, it's, maybe it's the other one. What is it, Apollo? Oh! You want to see a magic trick, is that it? Okay, watch while I make that piece of evidence disappear! Forever! Yipes! No thanks! My bad! Oh, really? Did we already trigger it? I don't know. What was it? Oh, hey, we didn't ever talk to her. If everything that Panty Snatcher said was true, it doesn't put Walkie in a very good position, does it? He was at the scene of the crime, that's pretty clear. There's gotta be a different angle on this. Well, let's get investigating. No time like the present. So, any leads? Hmm, one moment. Shazam! Alakazam! Whoa! Evidence keeps flying out of nowhere! Ta-da! That's all. Neat, huh? Yeah, real neat. <sighs> oh, what the heck? How do you trigger? There's what supposed to be a dialogue. Maybe we already got it. Maybe it's just by talking to her oh. after the trial. Where, like, she's like, oh, yeah, like, my panties are great. Like, I still remember, like, if, like when you, like, brandished my panties out court with the yelled, objection. It's like, Trucy, do me a favor. Take that memory. Lock it away in the yeah, deepest part of your never, mind. And never We definitely it never got that. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Anyhow, hi, everybody. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Today, we are not going back to the investigation. We're on day free trial. Last trial of yeah, the case. Yeah, with the most suave prosecutor. Achtun, baby. June 17th, 9.52 a.m., District Court Defendant Lobby number two. This is it. The big day. Did you get any sleep? Yeah, I went to bed at 1 a.m. or so. Oh? What time did you wake up? 3 a.m. That's only two hours, Apollo. But at least you have me. And the amazing Mr. Hat. Here's looking at you, kid. Good luck today, Apollo. The... That voice. Hey, uh, get any sleep? Mr. Wright! I was going out of my mind with boredom, so I signed myself out earlier today. Somehow that place makes fake piano playing at the Indochini pasta joint seem almost fun. Daddy, do you know what, who, what, bleh, do you know who Prosecutor Gavin's witness is today? Take a guess. Hmm. How about Little Plum? <laughs> that Sherman tank of a mom? Nope, guess again. That's too bad, you know? Speaking of moms, you need to find me a new mommy one of these days, Daddy. It's barely morning and you're at it already, Trucy. <laughs> okay, see, this is why I don't buy their father-daughter relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Wright, uh, do you know who the prosecution's witness is? Alita Tiala, your client's fiance. Right! My favorite! Thank you for making a <laughs> solid red rectangle of Sorry. peeking on the microphone. Sorry. You're like right in front of it like, ah, ah! <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be a witness? But that seems odd. Why would she testify against her own fiancé? You have to wonder what Gavin's up to. Something's going down today. That much is clear. Well, not to worry. I've got my panties back. If we can't find a killer, I'll pull one out of there. June 17th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Court is now in session for the trial of Walkie Kentucky. We don't get the people talking at the beginning. Aww. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Prosecution is warmed up, and it's a sold-out house. Very well, to recap, while yesterday's witness seemed more guilty than any other party... Guilty of panty snatching. We did find out one thing for certain. That there were three people in the park at the time of the murder. The witness, the victim, and the defendant. Correct, Air Judge. And today I'd like to do something a little new age. I'd like to look at this horrible crime from the outside. The outside? The acquisition of the murder weapon, the preparation for the act, 
Our poor defendant told all you see. To his betrothed. His betrothed? His fiance, Herr Judge. His partner for life, with no chance for parole. Very well, because divorce doesn't exist in this world. <laughs> uh, you may show the erm um, lucky lady to the stand. Your name and occupation, Fräulein. Alita Tiala. My occupation is future wife. Ah, traditional values. I respect that. Too many brides these days can't even weave baskets blindfolded. Underwater. What? <laughs> is that like a thing? No. <laughs> That's like a thing from the olden days where you would weave baskets. But not, but not now. But yet you're here today as a witness for the prosecution? To be honest, I didn't want to testify at first, but I couldn't hide the truth. Hmm, honesty, another admirable trait. Fräulein, is it true that on the day of the crime, the defendant Waki Kitaki confessed his plans? His plans for murder? Yes. The witness will please give her testimony to the court. Mm. I think I finally got Gavin's voice down. You did indeed. <sighs> Waki's plan. It was the day that the family che uh, health checkup results came back. When Waki found out that Mr. Hill, doctor, I always say Mr. instead. How? The M and the D look literally nothing You know, you know why? Because I don't say, I don't know anybody who I call doctor. Except for. So? I don't know. I just automatically, like, re revert Do you call back. him Mr. Seuss? <laughs> no. But I don't talk to Dr. Seuss. Anyway. When Walkie found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols. And you already know what happened that night. I just don't see how anyone but Walkie could have done it. You a liar. So the pistol did belong to the Kataki family then? Yes, with regards to this, an investigation is underway at the Kataki mansion. On charges of the possession of illegal firearms. And the bullet that took the victim's life, was it fired from the pistol the defendant procured? Yes, this has been proven. How can you prove something like that? Bullets carry marks from the barrel that fired them called rifling marks. Rifling marks? Think of them as being a gun's fingerprint left on every bullet it fires. I thought they were called ballistic markings. Both, they are called both. Oh, okay. And when did you hear first hear about Waki's plan? It was the day of the murder. I... I should have stopped him. I just didn't think he would actually do it. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Waki's plan. I'm gonna keep watching for weird, like, times that she, things that she would do when she's lying, so that we could be like, Aha! Your hair moves every time you lie! <laughs> like, she does, like, a hair flip or something weird. <laughs> she tilts her face to the opposite side. <laughs> oh, ow. Oh, cramp in my neck. Ow. You have to, like, yeah. You gotta do what I do. There we go. I don't want to crack my neck, because that can kill you. Okay, well, I'm good. For now. Yeah, they say when you, like, that if it, it if it can crack, and it's that means it's loose and it can still be moved. Releases tension. Uh huh. Massage therapist. That's that's who that's, told me. I was about to say Marty is not a massage therapist. No, I'm not. <laughs> that would be <laughs> terrible if I was. That was the day of the murder, correct? Yes. Everyone in the family received their checkup results that day. When Walkie looked at his, his face went so pale. But of course, he had just found out he had a bullet in his chest. So you were there at the time? Yes. Poor Walkie. When Walkie found out that Dr. Maractus lied, he flew he into, flew into a, a rage. Yeah. <laughs> that must have been, um, quite frightening. He was furious. He ripped his report up into shreds. Incidentally, I had to request another copy to file his evidence. A bothersome chore, but one I performed without complaint. Wait, he ripped his file? We have it! Yeah, he just- did you even pay attention to what he just Wait, said? Wait, no, but we ripped the one in the safe. Was that the official one, or was that the copy? That was the original, like, from six months ago. This was like, oh, this he went from, to a different doctor, like the... got a checkup, and they were like, Okay, uh, okay, this is more like the letter, like, here's your follow-up This is like, letter. Walkie, you're going to your pediatrician. <laughs> and yeah. it's like, uh, Walkie, why is there a bullet in your heart? What, man? Come 
Normal food! Walkie's at an age where he's hard to control when he loses his temper. Of course, that little bit of instability is so cute. Great! Now he sounds like a psychopath! I'll teach him. <laughs> I'll teach him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, is it easy to take a pistol out from the house? Not really, I think. There's a system in place to limit access. But Walkie's a special case, being the next in line. Perhaps his treatment was a bit too special, ya. Yeah. Well, maybe he's a bit spoiled. I hear he got an amazing- he's got amazing presents for his birthdays. Last year was a switchblade made out of chewing gum and a chocolate gravestone. Sounds like he has a taste for sweets and danger. I kinda like that. The point here being that Walkie had access to a pistol. And you already know what happened that night? <laughs> yeah, sure. What happened, meaning the murder? I tried to stop him. I really did. But Walkie wouldn't listen. Our defendant was nothing if not determined, it seems. The last thing you should do is blame yourself, miss. Uh, here's the thing, though. Clearly we know that her footsteps were in the park, so she did try everything she could to stop him, because she went to the park after him. Yeah. I just don't see how a world that has such wonderful things no, be so please, bad. No, please, no, no, stop. <laughs> we are not quoting Little Mermaid on my channel. <laughs> Aw, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's bottom 10 Disney movies for me. <laughs> I, I forgot it's bottom 10 for you. Uh, I, it's not. I might like Fun and Fancy Free more than it. Okay, Fun and Fancy Free has like no value. At least like the little mermaid. Mickey the Beanstalk is good. No, it's not good. Yes, it's, like, it is. Starving Mickey Mouse characters. I'm like sad the whole time. That's like the first two minutes. And then Mickey. I don't know. And then they the actually whole, go. The whole idea the of like Jack and the Beanstalk though isn't that kind of story. Versus like Under the Sea, great song. You've got Max, the amazing Kingdom Hearts dog. has forever ruined Under oh, the Sea for oh, me. Oh, absolutely! <laughs> Kingdom Hearts has ruined it. It has good music, I admit. It has good animation. Yeah. But the main character is incredibly... All, all the main characters are incredibly unlikable in that. What about Eric? He's oh, great! Oh, I, I guess he's a Eric's main character. Eric's great! I and guess. then also yeah, Sebastian. He's, Sebastian's he's super, not that great. He's, he's not such a likeable. much. He's super likable. Like, you, everyone feels bad for him because he's just trying to put on his musical, like performance, and, and Ariel's ruining it for him. I mean, I guess that's true, but he's also kind of just annoying. Yeah. Flounder has no personality. Flounder has no personality. Scuttle is, like, actively encouraging Ariel into self-destructive habits. I, uh, I really like Scuttle, though. He's funny. Uh, King Triton is, like, a parent with serious anger issues. Yeah. Even though he is But if you had seen Little Mermaid 3, you would know why. Because it's Footloose underwater. <laughs> Anyway, how can you say that? <laughs> how can you say that? How? Uh, Objection! Air Forehead, you will refrain from badgering the Froilein. It was the defendant, um, Walkie, was it, who took the pistol from his home. We know this for a fact now. I suppose we do. So, how could anyone else have used this pistol to shoot the victim? They could not. Simple logic, ya. Yeah. That does seem to be the case. Does the defense have anything to say regarding this point? Could someone else have used that pistol? Had to be Walkie. <laughs> Had to be Walkie. <laughs> there was another. <laughs> I'm sure there was another person who could have used that pistol. I just can't think of who. Of course, he was the only one with access. Uh-oh, this is bad if I leave it like this. You may continue with the cross-examination. Was there really no one else with access to that pistol? Someone else with family ties? Poor Miss Tiala. I can't imagine what would what it would be like to be in her position. I'm a little more concerned for her fiancé. Why would she testify against him like this? It was... <laughs> no. There, there was, was another. another. <laughs> Based on your testimony, there was clearly another. One other person had access to that pistol. What's this? Hmm, interesting. Let's ask the defense, then. Tell us the court who this other person with access was. Well, there's actually quite a few people who have access to these pistols. Lil Plum's one. That's true. Also, um, the mob boss is one. His name's Winfred? Yeah. Oh, Winfred, not Winifred. I'm Winfred like, Big Wins Kentucky. Walkie also would have had access. <laughs> That's what they're saying. He, Walkie was the only one of access. And his wife. Wesley Stick. <laughs> or not his wife, his fiance. Yeah. If you're marrying into the mob, you probably get access to a gun. Just saying. 
<laughs> Probably but not, do. not that gun. And she's not married yet, so. She will be. What? Well, what's this? What? The boss and his wife? Ah, an unexpected ploy. Apollo, this can't be right. Why would they want to frame their only son? Oh. On his parents' behalf, I'd like to give you a penalty. And his parents in the audience are like... <sighs> little, plum, uh, little Plum's got her broom. They're like, hey, you can't have weapons in here. It's a broom. It's oh a yes, broom. of course. Uh, Carry on, Mr. Justice. Poor Miss Tiala. So you're saying... It's her. Well, of course, I mean, you, Miss Tiala. N me? But, but why? You were quite clear when you told the court. You heard about the pistol from the defendant on the day of the murder. In other words, you knew what he was planning. Let me get this straight. You intend to tell us that this lady stole the pistol from her fiancé? And killed a man in cold blood on his behalf? Wait, I really like her outfit. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I don't like the color yellow that much, so... I like yellow. That's some of it. Yeah, I... Yellow's so happy. It's like the the sun. It so? brings harmony and joy. I don't know. I'm a color person. So I like colors too, but I don't what, like yellow. What color? Um, is there any other colors you don't like besides yellow? More uh, burgundy. burgundy. Yeah, burgundy. A, a is lot like, of brown burgundy colors. Burgundy is the color of a car. Pink. Ah, uh, yeah. I, but Bar you're a guy. I guess. Um, green is polarizing. Green can either be my favorite color or my least favorite color. So, Depending on the shade? Yeah. So, like, okay. nice dark green or, like, lighter greens are great, but, like, barf green or, like, swamp green. like <laughs> Or, like, that, that crayon color that nobody uses. Yeah. <laughs> that one. I've heard of people doing strange things for love, but this... It does seem a bit unfathomable, to be sure. I'm all for romance and for supporting your partner in life, to be sure. But I think I would hesitate at murder. I'd hope you'd do a little more than hesitate! <laughs> But what if a different connection could be proven? A connection between the witness and the victim. We might find that she had a personal motive beyond wanting to help her fiancé. Hmm, that would put things in a slightly different light. What possible connection are you suggesting here? You know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think that the police never looked inside the safe. I have evidence showing a connection between the witness, Miss Tiawa, and the victim. We might have broken into a safe to get it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I fail to see exactly what panties shows. I'm trying to imagine, like, him rummaging through the evidence and just being like, ah! <laughs> This is the evidence that proves the, like, the Everyone's just paid Facebook. Yeah. Well, see, that's because, uh, there isn't one? I believe I understand. And I believe your wildly wandering eyes deserve a penalty. One more try. I'll, I'll get it this time. Yeah, signed by Nurse Alita Tiala. Super easy. That looks like a medical chart? Found inside a safe at the Maractus Clinic. I'd like to draw the court's attention to the names written on the chart. What? Miss Tiala, whatever... Why is your name on this chart? Well, care to explain the meaning of this, Miss Tiala? I'm not sure what you mean by meaning, Mr. Justice. Our warm little fiancé just froze over. I was on staff at that clinic until half a year ago. It was boring, so I quit. That's all. Oh my gosh, she looks so ugly from the side. <laughs> yeah, she really does. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Is there a problem with that? Miss Tiala, you testified that you had no connection to the victim. And I don't. Now. Now? I quit half a year ago, didn't I? So there's no connection. Let me guess, you were that kind of guy. Who can't rest until he knows every last detail of his girlfriend's past. No, that's the- she sounded like Richard wanted now. You're the kind of guy who can't appreciate Joan of Arc who burned himself this day. <laughs> Am I right? Th that's not true at all. Why, I- I embrace the ones I love, past okay. flaws and on, no matter- There's no connection now, doesn't fly in a court of law. Doesn't fly. She's one tough nut. She probably feels right at home with the Katakis. You left your job at the Maractus Clinic, true, but you remain connected somehow. Very well, Mr. Justice. Show us evidence that proves the witness is still connected to the Maractus Clinic. Um, 
We found her shoes. <laughs> oh no, my shoes! Oh no, my shoes! Underwear! No. Uh, I suppose I could... Air Forehead, this trail you think you have found, it doesn't lead to the truth. Nor to a long career in the legal profession, yeah. Gee, thanks. Perhaps you will allow me to do the honors? Hmm. Why not? It might be nice for a change. Most excellent. Let's rock! Did we just get, like, out-cooled for a penalty? <laughs> Basically. I'll take the usual penalty next time, thanks. Very well, Mr. Justice, try again. Wait. Oh, I skipped a safe state there. <laughs> it, it was back to the safe. <laughs> oh. These sandals were found in the Maractus Clinic lobby. They're yours, aren't they? Uh, well, who knows? I'm sure there are lots of people with those sandals. So sorry, Fräulein, but your act isn't working. When the prosecutor, old oh man. <laughs> your moment of hesitation just now cost you. What's with you? I thought you were on my side. Perhaps you are unaware that toes leave toe prints. A simple analysis of these sandals will reveal all. Well, now we see your true colors. I was wrong to cooperate with you from the beginning. I just wanted... I just wanted you to help me get Walkie back on the straight and narrow. Hmm, this court thinks you need to worry less about Walkie and more about yourself. It sounds as though we need to hear a bit more of your story. Your sandals were found in the entrance to the clinic, which means you went there on the day of the murder. Well, there's little point in denying it. Very well, the witness will tell us about this visit. Why did you go to the Maractus Clinic that day? <laughs> it's so weird. She goes from having, like... The pixie look? No, no, no. I was gonna say she goes from having, like, no eyelashes to having, like, all the eyelashes. <laughs> and all the nose. <laughs> all when the she, nose. When she turns all sideways. All the drugs. Yeah. All of them. I did go to the clinic that day. My first time in half a year since I quit in January. I went to warn him. After all, I knew Walkie had the pistol. The doctor always was a timid man. Too timid to admit his own mistake. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. <laughs> wow, okay. I wanted to tell him to be careful as an old friend. By mistake, you mean the mistake we heard about from the defendant? The botched operation? He was a timid, small man. But I never wished him any harm. I just thought I should let him know, you know? Hmm, that does make sense. Yes, but there is still one thing which does not. What's that, Prosecutor Gavin? The sandals left in the lobby, of course. We can assume she wore these sandals to the clinic, ya. Yeah. Then why did she not wear them then home? If it were me, I would have worn them home. I would have worn those sandals home, too. So, why were the sandals left behind? Ah! He pointed out the contradiction before me! There's probably a good explanation for this, right, Miss Tiala? Say, for instance, there happened to be a similar pair of sandals there which you wore home by mistake. Actually, that's right. I'm impressed, Mr. Gavin. Oh, it is nothing. There is, after all, no other possible explanation. Ya, yeah, forehead. Oh, what the? No fair! He's filling the holes in her testimony! Well, this is easy, though. We just have to present the slippers. Show that they're the same <laughs> with, like, the sandal. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that pretty much proves it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I meant like we show that they're the same print, and then we show that there is also that same print in the park. Mm. No problem. That's not hard. The defense may begin the cross examination. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Gavin in that like cross examination fiend mm. looks like a Luke Sword from Kingdom Hearts. Luke Sword. Luke Sword, one of Organization 13's oh, members. The guy with the cards! <laughs> uh, what's Just without the beard. Um, blonde. Blonde? <laughs> oh. I don't know. Oh, and, he has, and he has pierced ears. Oh! Okay, I know what it looks like. He kind of looks vaguely like Axel. What? No? You're thinking How Demix. long is his hair? Not long. Oh. There's too many Organization 13 members. There are 14 there's the, of them. There's the guy with the pink hair. There's Axel. There's Roxas. 
he's kind sort of, of. <laughs> he's kind of in there. And then there's the guy with the black hair. And then there's the guy with the black there hair and the beard. And then there's what? Then there's um, what guy has black hair and a beard? I thought I saw him recently when you were playing Kingdom Hearts three. Are you thinking Luke Sword? He has blonde hair, not black hair, but he's the only one with a beard. I thought there was black hair and a beard. Well, and there's she doesn't Ansem, even have a beard. And there's Zenness. Okay, you're getting the two different organization for teens mixed up. Yeah, there are two different organization for teens. Why? <laughs> this is the organization this 13 is the that exists. This is the one that's made of nobodies. <laughs> I don't Anyways. even know. Anyways. Kingdom Hearts is super confusing. Around what time did you go to the clinic? I don't remember exactly, but it was after 9.30, I think. And that was the first time you had contacted Dr. Maractus in half a year? Of course it was. He wasn't the kind of boss you made friends with. So, why did you go to the clinic that day? I went to warn him. After all, pistols. <laughs> did you want Dr. Maractus to run away? Well, after I failed to stop walking, I thought that that was the only other way to avoid the problem. Couldn't you have called? Why go in person? I called several times that evening, but no one was in. The victim was busy driving home until after 9 p.m. that night, remember? This was proven by the mirror yesterday, ya. Yeah. I thought if I warned him, he would run away for sure. Knowing the doctor. Doctor always was a timid man. Hey, that's... Timid's not bad. You mean the, the act of malpractice on Walkie, correct? If he had just told Walkie the truth in the beginning, none of this would even happen. True, that operation was the start of this whole affair. Oh, oh, of course, if he had told him. He might have been erased by the Kitakis much earlier. A disturbing thought. Why the heck are we allowing these mob, like, the mob to be, like, <laughs> in here, but we can't arrest them? I don't know. It's weird. Not a dumb part of the case. We know that the Maractus Clinic has had ties to the Kitaki family. He probably couldn't have gone to the police even if he wanted to. That's why I knew he, I had to warn him. It's super weird because uh, now that I'm looking at both of the screens, this one has like way brighter colors than that one. Yeah, I have dual monitor up right now. I'm not into dark secrets. No dark secrets, eh? What? Look at me however you want, Mr. Justice. You won't find a thing. She's hiding something. I know it. I must have some evidence that proves it, too. You're free to think whatever you like. I went to that clinic with only one thought in mind. I wanted to tell him to be careful, as an old friend. But then you'd be betraying Walkie, wouldn't you? No, I did it for him. For us! She went to warn him so that her fiancé would not have to commit such a crime, ya. Yeah. I didn't want them to take my Walkie away. There's no way she went to that clinic just to warn him. Do you know why she went, Apollo? Time to figure out what really happened at that clinic, and fast. I went to the clinic. I went to warn him. Doc always is... But why would he have gone? I wanted to tell him to be careful as an old friend. I don't think... So you think it's this one? I think it's either the... Yeah, probably. I I'm not hiding any dark secrets. I'm hiding some light secrets. Dark secrets. Oh, yeah, actually, she literally... There's the bullet, there's the lamp that's broken, and there's also the, um, chart. slippers. Which one's it gonna be? <laughs> and there's the chart. Yeah. But that, she didn't hide that, I don't think. It was in the guy's safe, though. Yeah, with the bullet. <laughs> At one time, I went to the doctors and shot him. <laughs> you know. One time? <laughs> Just one time? It was Rid that big deal. Um... Alright, what do you want to try? I want to- let's get it wrong and try the lamp. Objection! The witness's statement is clearly faulty, your honor! I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. Unfortunately, I will have to penalize you, Mr. Justice. Ugh, I must be on the wrong track? Um... Those darn old slippers. Do you think it's the bullet, then? Or the chart. We've already presented the chart, so I think it's either the bullet or the slippers. Objection! Nope. Z. 
the bullet. The chart? <laughs> I don't know why. Why the chart again? This chart was found inside a safe in the doctor's office. Yeah. Why would this one chart be in that safe? Miss Tiala, you know why it was, don't you? Mind filling me in? Dr. Maractus didn't have the leisure of making mistakes. That's why he wrote up a false report and kept the truth locked away. Bad, Air Doctor. And this is where you come in, Miss Tiala. The nurse who filed this chart was you, which means you knew about Waki's failed operation. Interesting. You were in the same position as Dr. Maractus. Kind of makes it hard to claim no connection, doesn't it? You're bold for a novice. I'll give you that. Hey, I won a case. What? I have a 100% win record. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Mr. Justice, you must know I was only a nurse. The doctor is responsible for the chart's contents. Hmm, this chart business seems to be quite important. Please amend your testimony accordingly. Too bad, little attorney. My bracelet's reacting again! What is it, Apollo? I felt my bracelet vibrate just now. Your bracelet? Just like yesterday, like you said! When a witness is unsure of something, their nervous habits give them away. B but I, I can't see anything, Apollo. Uh huh? Then what's my bracelet reacting to? Wait, maybe... Yes, that has to be it! What has to be it? Your senses, Apollo. They must be sharper than mine! Huh? I can't see it, but you can sense it. I don't know about that, Trucy. I don't have some kind of special powers or uh, anything. Listen to me, Apollo. There's a weak point somewhere in Mr. 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 Tiala's Mr. Tiala, Ms. Tiala's testimony. Just like randomly, this dude bursts in like, Excuse me, I'm Mr. Tiala. Tiala. What the bleep is going if on? Here? I was getting married to her, not you. How, wait, if he isn't already married, how does she have his last name? <laughs> She's been through some things. <laughs> Second marriage. No. She's only 21! <laughs> That's true. How the heck is she a nurse if she's only 21? She was really good in school. Like, crazy good in D school? During the first Phoenix Wright game when she was like 11, she was already studying for like the medical exam. <laughs> that's crazy. That, that's the thing that is so surprising to me, but like, it shouldn't be. Is that people who can be like so brilliantly gifted could still be so dumb to do something oh, like yeah. a crime. But that's crazy to me, because like, they're so smart, you'd think that they'd be wise. But they're not. Nope, nope. There's Knowledge and wisdom are completely different. There's a reason why they're different things. Thank goodness most criminals are dumb, too. Yeah. But we don't know what her nervous habit is. Well, then what do we do? You have to perceive it yourself, Apollo. With your eyes and your senses. Then it's up to me and my bracelet. I don't know why, but the bracelet helps. Somehow touching it helps me focus. Let's give it a shot and bring down that testimony. Why would I go to the clinic for half for a half year old chart? So it's probably that one, because that's the new statement. Why would I go to the clinic now? Okay, look at her bow, because that's where it was. No, not that bow. The other bow. Which one? The bow on her wrist! Oh, that one. Not the necktie. What do you mean? She hasn't had a weird twitch yet. Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. This is she her first time something. testimony. This is her first time testifying. That's where it was, though. It was something along there. No, this is her first time testifying. We haven't perceived her before now. Oh. Okay, then... Watch your hands. Nothing's happening. Oh, the ring's moving. Gotcha. Why 
Why go to the clinic for a half-year-old chart now, you ask? But you know why you would go now, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. It was quite clear, Miss Tiala. You have a nervous habit. The moment you said the word now, you used your right thumb to fiddle with your ring. To fiddle with your ring. W what? She was unsure. I saw it. Now. That's the key word. The chart wasn't a part of your past. It was a clear and present threat. Th that's ridiculous. Why, if that were the case? I would have six months to do something about that. Indeed. It Which means something happened quite recently. Something to make that chart a problem for you now. I've got her on the ropes now. I can feel it. Time to strike the killing blow with evidence. Miss Tiala, there's no use trying to hide it. That chart became a threat to you now because of this. Do you know what it is? Um... Because of... The bullet? Maybe? Because of what? Um... The eyes of a hawk, and the brain of a toad. Ribbit? I mean, ack! I can't lose this now! <laughs> Come on, Toad Brain, one more try! <laughs> I won you! <laughs> that was funny. Um, otherwise, what else would it be? The gun? <laughs> Thank the knife. <laughs> Your sandals! <laughs> well, I mean, she left her sandals. But it became a threat because... Okay, let me, let me just think about this. She went into the office, broke in to the safe. But why? Or tried to break into why? the safe. There's a bullet in there, and there's walkies charts in there. It became a threat. Why did she have to do that, though? Why <laughs> didn't she, she do it months ago? Because she knew, because she knew he would die in six months. She knew that six months ago. Well, but now there was the, um, because he was going to kill the doctor. But what made him decide to do that? Because of the fact he couldn't get any, um, the bullet out of his... He didn't even know about that, though. Until recently. Right. But that's what made him decide to do that. The other thing that I just thought about, there's a bullet in the safe. Did they take out the bullet and then put a new one in there? How? Maybe it worked. Maybe they got the bullet out, and then they were like, it, she and the doctor were like, we could kill him. And then put a <laughs> Like new Angelina bullet. and Miss Sylvie's <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> Not like that. But they could kill him. And so then they were like, we're gonna take the bullet out. Did he get it checked since then? And saw what that there mean? was a bullet inside of him? He got the health checkup recently. Yeah. Well, the health checkup, but did he see x-rays that showed him? Or I don't was know. It, or was it just is... told by word? Because if yeah, it was just, told, it's by just word, told by word, it could be that there's no bullet in him. They took the bullet out and they're just like, you're gonna die. Ooh! <laughs> and they managed to take it out, and so now it's a threat because. They have to get multiple doctors in on that conspiracy, though. Yeah, exactly. But it's a problem, and she would be one of the only people who would know that they removed the bullet, and having this whole. I I'm probably really overthinking. You, you really are. That's always what happens. We have to check the- THE STUPID CHART AGAIN?! The chart- This is a different one. This is the health checkup report. Oh, okay. The one that Walkie got today. He's like, wait, what?! There's a heart! There's a bullet in my heart! <laughs> uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. Okay. A health checkup report belonging to the defendant. The Katakis are trying to get out of the business. The health checkup this month was their first ever. What did you think when you heard about this? Yeah. Uh, oh, nothing. Why should I think of anything? Oh, I would think you were positively beside yourself. Because you were afraid. You knew what Waki's chest x-ray would reveal. Yeah. A full half year had passed since the operation. You thought you were home free. When the chart came back to haunt you. Yeah! She doesn't need any more of a crazy breakdown than that. <laughs> It's just like, ah, it's fine. That's all, Your Honor. What, what just happened? Did the witness just admit to lying? I sensed it. There was a great aura emanating from Air Forehead. Very cool. 
So the lady was lying, it seems. That's correct. Duh. <laughs> she said she had no connection to the Maractus Clinic. But her connection was deep indeed. A bit too deep. If the Katakis got a hold of this chart with her name, she'd be finished. Isn't that right, Miss Tiala? You guessed it. She's surprisingly cooperative. Order, order! She's probably the most chill of the of the witnesses, pretty much. Except Acro. <laughs> yeah, except for Acro. <laughs> and maybe Gant. No, Gant electrocuted himself multiple times on the stand. <laughs> did he? Did he? I yeah. forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. I, I did it. I broke her testimony. Amazing, Apollo. I didn't see it at all. Daddy was right about you. Wait. Miss Tiala. It's true. The, the chart was bad news for me. That's why I went to meet the doctor that day. But that's all. I told him about walking and went home. It appears this cross-examination is far from over. Wh what? She hid the truth from us, that is clear. Yet, it is not clear that this truth has anything to do with the case at hand. Hmm. When you lie once, there's more lies to await lies you. Lies beget more lies. Very well, the witness will add this to her testimony. And we'll have a bit more cross-examination. Ah, I was so close! You're still close. Keep an eye on her, Apollo. Keep on her. Wow, we amended it again. Nothing happened at all. I warned him and left. Well, yeah. there was a bullet in this safe, so... so... <laughs> Probably not. Objection! You say nothing happened in the doctor's office. I disagree. Take a look at this. What's that? It looks like a squished up ball of clay. Kind of like you, actually. That was rude. <laughs> This bullet was found in the Maractus Clinic office. Something did happen in that office, Miss Tiala. Objection! Enough of this joking around. The police investigated that clinic. Objection! Ah, but this was stuck inside the doctor's safe. Inside the safe? I guess the police didn't check that far. Objection! But there is a problem. How can you say that the bullet was fired on that day? Objection! Weren't you the one who explained rifling marks to us? The pistol was taken from the Kentucky Mansion that day. If the marks on this bullet match the murder weapon, then that proves a firearm was discharged in that office on the day of the murder. Not bad, Air Forehead. Yeah, he's such a chill and, like, yeah. actually nice prosecutor. I, I nice. really enjoy him. Yeah, we're not getting whipped. We're not getting coffee to the face. We're not getting amateur. <laughs> you are the worst. We're not getting snaps. <laughs> <laughs> All he does is cool cu guitar riffs. Bailiff, have that bullet out analyzed immediately. Okay. We'll get it analyzed. 30 minutes later. <laughs> 30 minutes later. More like one episode later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time for more cross-examining of Edith Tiala. Oh, boy. There's still a decent bit of that left. Look yeah. forward to that until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.